Like many of his friends, 28-year-old Muhammad Hassan can't find permanent work. He spends much of his time loitering in town, hunting odd jobs. Most days is no work, but sometimes you may be lucky. Some work may come up. And when there's nothing to do, there's always cut. A narcotic plant chewed for its hallucinogenic effect. There are worse options. Isyolo is thought to be a recruitment ground for Somali militant group Al-Shabaab. At least four youths are believed to have joined the group in recent months, and others from the poorer regions of Kenya. It is easy to see why recruiting agents for groups such as Al-Shabaab would target places such as Isyolo. A huge percentage of the population is made up of the youth, most of them unemployed. The government has been offering amnesty to any Al-Shabaab recruits who come home and turn themselves in. The offers fallen flat here in Isyolo. Well, we have not had anybody coming forward to say that uh, maybe I'd join the, the Lord Al-Shabaab. Ahmed Seth runs an Islamic foundation in Isyolo. He's taking a lead in trying to encourage youth away from extremism. These are our own children who have gone astray and we believe if they come back, uh, they have been brainwashed, we know. They have been given the wrong notion uh, of killing and maiming, the wrong notion on what jihad is. And these children, if they can come back, and I appeal to them, if they will be looking at this media, to come back very confidently, surrender to the authorities, or surrender to imams. The amnesty expired on Thursday. Seth and others want it extended. But even if suspected recruits do come back and are rehabilitated, the basic problem still there. How to find purpose in life in a town where there seems to be so little opportunity. Just ask Muhammad Hassan and his friends. Robert Nagelo, CCTV, Isyolo, Kenya.